Hey everyone, hope you're having a green day so far. My name is Steven Rosenberg. I wrote a blog post about the value of using Snapchat and Instagram stories. And I wanted to explain this to everyone so that they can really understand how they can apply this in their own life. Um, but, you know, the overview is that the reason this is so much more valuable than trying to use Facebook or anything else that's out there is because there's so much less noise happening on Snapchat and Instagram and especially with new stories it takes people a lot of time to even want to try it make the effort to try it and then do it and then do it well but some companies that I mentioned in my blog have really risen up I mean against all the odds against them for doing that and it's because you're constantly releasing content about your life it's authentic it's not so staged I mean yeah sure you can go off and spend ten thousand dollars and make some perfect commercial that's ten seconds long or you can create multiple variable variables within your content to really show people you're a real human show them that you care show them that you're an expert in your field these are all things that are very 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 important and when you're doing this stuff on Facebook not that it's not a good idea to do it on Facebook is fine but there's so much other noise on Facebook on Twitter things like that I think another really important component more on the Instagram side is being able to use hashtags and Twitter handles because that really connects uh, and helps other people find that content. Um, and I think that is very powerful. I mean, on Instagram alone, you can use, I think, 30 different hashtags. Um, and so each time you put a hashtag word out there, you are going to attract someone that's attracted to that word. Now I'm not saying go crazy and just use 30 hashtags for every post because then you're going to get a lot of people that are interested in a specific hashtag category that has nothing to do with you or nothing to do with the video or nothing to do with the product that you're selling. So it may like draw people in but then they're going to immediately leave when they see that it's not your stuff. So I don't think you should abuse that because, you know, all the reasons I just explained, but it's definitely a powerful tool that you can use to really uh, attract more people to your business or to you or to whatever it is that you're trying to explain to the world. So make sure you guys check out the blog post that I wrote on this, the Snapchat, Snapchat versus Instagram stories. Um, I'll put a link in it below. And please provide any uh, comments, questions, anything like that. I would love to help someone out with their strategy or give them my opinion. So also please make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel because you don't want to miss out on what's next. And as always, thanks and have a green day.